Welcome to Positive Filter with your host, Philip Wilkerson, a podcast that focuses on friends, family, health, and career with a little self-help around the way. Please join me in this journey for self-improvement, and I hope that what I have to share will make you a better person, thus making the world a better place. Positive Filter listeners, uh, it's Philip Wilkerson back with another episode of Positive Filter. As you know, it's May, and May is Mental Health Month, and so I wanted to take this episode to discuss mental health. Um, I'm just finding out that over 16 million people, uh, United States uh, adults, have suffered a major depressive episode since 2012, and so that goes to show that depression is not as uncommon as you may think. Um, You know, when people are going through some form of depression or anxiety, it could be very, very isolating. And you can feel like you're the only one that is experiencing um, difficulties in your life, um, having trouble sleeping, having trouble finding joy in things that you used to find joy in, uh, having really bad self-negative image, um, you know, thoughts of hurting yourself. All those things could be really, really scary. And what... uh, I'm coming to find out, you know, through uh, meeting with people or, you know, being uh, uh, a counselor or just talking to people that have gone through hard times is that it's not as uncommon as you may think. You know, depression and anxiety uh, are things that lots of people deal with, and um, sometimes they deal with it below the surface. You know, people um, have a good way of masking um, that sometimes they're having a hard time. And for the people that are having a hard time, I always encourage you to really reach out for help. Um, You know, help is readily available. People that care about you and love you um, are readily available. And there are strategies that you can take. Um, You know, if you really feel like you're not uh, in a rut, if you're in a rut and you're not getting out of it, you know, maybe go see the doctor um, and see if, um, you know, physically there's something wrong with you. But if it's not, then you may need to see uh, a therapist or maybe get put on medication and um, just take some active steps to make sure that you're taking care of yourself and your and your mental well-being. Um, you know, totally being honest with the listeners, you know, I've gone through uh, times in my past where I felt depressed and it didn't matter uh, self-talk or trying to be positive. Um, wasn't enough to get me out of that rut. And I needed to see, you know, some counselors or seek help. And what I'm coming to find out is that most people, uh, when you share your stories like that, you're not alone. And it, and it makes you feel some level of comfort that, you know, while you can um, work on these things, um, you need to like take like a proactive attitude toward it, you know, like take care of your mental health just as you would your physical health. You know, what do people do with their with their physical health? You know, they eat well, they exercise, um, they make sure they put good things in their body. Well, mental health, you know, what messaging are you saying to yourself? Uh, what are you taking in? Um, uh, are you drinking a lot? Are you, um, you know, are you? feeding yourself negative self-talk a lot. What are you putting into your mind? And and so with that being said, um, you know, make sure that that the that you're taking care of the of the mind as well as the body. Um, you know, I'm actively working on that right now, journaling, um, you know, seeking help when I need it, talking to friends and um you know, like I want, you know, I am a positive person. I think that the, the, the world has so much to offer, but there's sometimes when you just get in a rut and you just can't get yourself out of it. And even the most positive people experience that. And that's what I'm coming to find out is okay. If you, it, it's okay to feel that way um, as long as you do things to address it, as long as you take steps to get better as long as you uh, trust the process of counseling or whatever you're doing um, to get better. 
and you'll make it, you know, that's the positive filter. Uh, that's the positive outlook on dealing with, you know, depression and anxiety. Um, it, it's tough in the moment, but it doesn't last forever. And you know that there's people that love you and care for you. Um, and you have to just take care of yourself so that you may be able to take care of them. So if you are feeling um, depressed or anxious and, you know, uh, you really, really don't think that you can get out of it on your own, which is positive self-talk, maybe you should just go reach out and see a professional, professional counselor, um, as well as, you know, see if you need to see a doctor um, and, and really address it and take care of yourself. And do not feel like you're weak or embarrassed when you do so because there's so many people out there that are just like you um, that need help and that are getting help. And, you know, um, if this message is reaching, touching base for you, then, you know, feel free to reach out to me, um, the host of Positive Filter. Um, we can talk about it um, or just, you know, reach out to a good friend or loved one. You know, I love you all. Thank you so much for being a listener of the podcast. I hope that um, me sharing this message about taking care of yourself, taking care of your mental health is helpful to someone out there. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Thank you for listening to Positive Filter, a podcast that focuses on family, friends, career, with a little self-help along the way. If you enjoyed this podcast, please share it with your family and friends and like the Facebook page, Spreading Positivity of Movement. Thanks for listening.